The families of 30 Kenyans currently being detained in Saudi Arabia are calling on the government to intervene to secure their freedom. As our very own Francis Mtalaga reports, those in detention are reported to be living in poor conditions. The 30 Kenyans in Saudi Arabia are said to be undergoing torture with some said to be ill and in need of medical attention. Their families claim that the last eight months have been hard for them. The family of one of those detained in the Gulf state, Sadaf Sole, says. He is the sole breadwinner and his detention has forced his three-year-old daughter to drop out of school. Kwa hivyo tuwaomba serikali ya Kenya wafanya BD sagafu arege nyumbani. Ishmael Kelvin Gdhinji is one of the Kenyans who are said to have been jailed for more than 10 months. He says he escaped that by a whisker after differing with his employer. Nogua corona pale, nime pigwa pale. Chakula chapale kinatio siyuni vitu gani, unakula unaumwa, unawashwa mwilimzima, maji ya pale siyo sawa, yani nimepitia mateso mingi sana. He claims after escaping and reporting the matter to the police and later the Kenyan embassy in Saudi Arabia, things turned worse after his passport expired. Nimeomba msaada, wenzangu wameomba msaada, na nimeona wengine wakinyimu wa msaada nikiwa hapo nikishudia. Kwa hivyo embassy ya Kenya, the situation is getting worse because of the fact that most of the Kenyans who are female domestic workers are undergoing what we call uh, mistreatment. So most of them end up running away from their employers. Government through the Ministry of Labor says it will reach out to Saudi Arabia government to find solution to the mistreatment of Kenyan migrant workers. Nataka sasa kurekebisha. Ile mafunzo hawa Kenya wanapata kabla wajasafiri waja ukule nje, pre-departure training. Ile waelezwe wa eh, desturi, eh, kidini, kima, eh, ki, eh, nene, eh, udamaduni ya warabu ama wa, wa, wa naiji wa Saudi Arabia. Despite numerous complaints, Kenyans have continued to fly to Saudi Arabia. And now the Kenyan embassy in Saudi Arabia is also on the spotlight. Francis Mtilaki, Citizen TV, Mombasa.